Okay, I am excited to show you guys this fun software called Autodesk Fusion 360. It's on your desktop. Um, the icon looks like this. It has an F in it. That's orange. So go ahead and open that up. Okay, if you are new to Autodesk, you need to create an account. So at the very bottom, hit Create Account. And go ahead and fill in the required fields. Um, the email should be your one of your school emails. The reason for this is because um, you get the software for three years if you're a student, whereas if you weren't, you'd only have 30 day free trial. So, okay, and then try to confirm it. That's uh, not going to let me copy and paste. Okay, and then password, make sure it's something that you're familiar with, um, that you're going to remember, maybe one of your old passwords. Hit I agree, create account. Okay, right here, you can uncheck this if you don't want emails from Autodesk. So I already get emails from them, and uncheck that. Okay, and while it's loading up, I want to tell you a little bit about this program. It's a lightweight program as far as 3D modeling programs go, or CAD programs go. It's pretty powerful, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, you can do 2D things, you can do 3D things, you can send things right to a 3D printer. Um, it's really perfect for the school setting for a secondary school, uh, middle school, high school. So some of the best software I can find as far as that goes. Uh, it's not too huge and overwhelming. It's just about right. So go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to bring you here. And you can say next. Say done. Make sure there's nothing else popping up on you. All right, so if you look up in the top right, it says term ends in 30 days. So we don't want that. We don't want the 30-day free trial. We are a student or teacher, so we're going to click on that. You go to sign up as a student or educator, and you get three years. Hit accept, and hit submit, and close. So that trial went away. Now you have this for three years and you can renew it when that three years is up. So that's how you get into the program. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you some of the layout of the program and how to get started designing.